arrested in the first place? He's not into drugs. He never was. Yeah, sometimes I really wonder what his mother's thinking. Well, I mean, probably when she found the pills in his backpack, you know, what else could she do? Well, maybe she could act like her son's not a walking crime scene. Yeah, but Luke, she can't ignore the evidence. Yeah, but why just assume that he's dealing, that there can't be some good explanation? We're still talking about Casey, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm just making sure. Why do you always have to be so smart? I'll work on it. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, what's up? Well, I've been texting you for days. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's been a little crazy. Look, I just wanted to say that I'm... I'm really sorry about Elwood. I know that he was your friend. No, uh, no not, not so much. Uh, didn't you guys used to hang out, like, all the time? Yeah, we had, um, we had a lot of the same friends, I guess. I just feel like it was my fault. Well, you, you weren't driving that car. Yeah, but I was the one that he was supposed to meet at that bridge. I just wish that I could have gotten him to talk to the cops. Well, that was Elwood. Well, listen, you should know that they, uh, they traced the car. They did? Yeah. It belongs to that Matt O'Connor guy. You know that note I found that was signed M? They think that he was Elwood's supplier, and then he found out that Elwood was going to talk. Uh, did, they, did they catch him? No. Good. Uh, Good. He may have killed two kids and he's still on the loose. How is that good? Yes. Well, thank you, Warden. Yes, we already notified his PO. I'll let you know as soon as we pick him up. I hope so, too. Thank you. It's definitely the car. Is there any sign of O'Connor? No, but there's something I think you should see. I didn't mean it's good that they haven't caught him. I'm glad they know who did it. I just... I just want this to be over so I can stop thinking about it. Yeah, I hate thinking about it, too. Yeah, it's freaking depressing. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I gotta go. Oh, well, what can I get you? What? Well, didn't you come in here for a coffee? No, I, I, didn't, I didn't realize what time it was. I just... I don't, I don't have the time. Is it just me, or was that way too bizarre? So, it's not that expensive, but the food's supposed to be really good. I think Casey will like it. You said it's in Chicago? Yeah, Lincoln Park, on the north side. He probably hasn't had a decent meal since his mom arrested him. I just want his first dinner to be special. Does he know that you're taking him? Not yet. Ooh, well, what if he already has something planned for his first night out of jail? You mean something that doesn't include me? <sighs> Two of you weren't exactly on the best of terms before he was arrested, Jane. Yeah, we weren't, but it's different. Are you sure? Positive. I just don't want to see you get hurt, honey. I'm asking him to dinner. I'm not asking him to marry me. Good. I'll save that for the second date. <laughs> they never had anything on uh, me dealing, and they, they dropped the possession charges. It's great. Yeah, my P.O. said even a misdemeanor would have thrown me back in prison. I think they, they had the papers already written up. Oh, what happened to innocent until proven guilty? If you figure that one out, can you let me know? Well, at least you can laugh about it. Well, what else can I do? I, I did a lot of thinking when I was in jail, and I realized, you know, I, I, if I'm walking around with all these grudges, I might as well, well just check myself back in. Uh, you seem really centered. <laughs> Uh-oh. Psych class? No. Rehab counselor. Uh, that's uh, what the prison shrink says to me all the time, you know? Stay in the middle ground. Don't let the highs get too high. Don't let the lows get too low. Well, that's tough. You know, especially the second part. You're talking about Matt? I 
hate feeling like a fool. Uh, no, it happens to everyone. I keep thinking there's something wrong with me that I could just, I could let him play me like that. Uh, well, that's that's what he does, and he's he's really good at it. I know, but even after you told me about catching him in the med supply room, I, I still bought his story. I don't know, he just seemed. He seemed different this time, and I know that's I know that's what he does. Don't, don't beat yourself up about this. If, if believing in the wrong person is a crime, a lot of people would be in jail. How come you're being so nice to me? When I was doing a lot of thinking in jail, I was thinking about you. You know how we used to be so amazing, and then, and then we messed up everything. Yeah, I've been trying to figure that out myself. <laughs> you get anywhere? Maybe you were just too damn good at messing stuff up. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what they say. If you're good at something, it's better to stick to it. Right? <laughs> See, I miss this. Me and you just, just hanging out. Yeah, I miss it too. So, with all that thinking you did, do you have any idea how we could get back there? Uh, as a matter of fact, I do. It's a little sophisticated, you know, part of the new uh, mature Casey Hughes I'm working on. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Yeah? Well, um, I call it do-over. A do-over? Yeah. I think we should, uh, go back to the way things were, you know, before this crap started and pretend like it never happened. Just like that? Just like that. <laughs>